Do you think the field of engineering is male dominated, female dominated, or equal? Uh, male dominated. Uh, male dominated. Male dominated. Male dominated. Male. Male dominated. I think it's probably more male dominated. I think it's more male dominated. There's probably more males. Um, at MSU, actually, right now we have 18% of our engineers are women, and that's actually really high compared to what it usually is. And we're actually trying to raise it from 18% to 25%. We really want to see about one in four women in engineering. You know, you can always kind of find your niche, find exactly what you want to be doing. So for any females who are kind of interested in it, I think it's a great way for them to get involved and be a part of something that can really change their lives and help other people. It doesn't matter what you are, what gender you are, you're just here to, you know, get the job done and learn the task and get a job and help whatever field you're in. There, there's a lot of benefits and there is some hardships as well, but if you work hard then the benefits are going to outweigh the cost. I chose to study mechanical engineering kind of by process of elimination. My dad's very handy mechanically and so with working with him in the garage on various things I just found I was good at, at that types of stuff, understanding mechanics. Um, pair that with the math and you have mechanical engineering. I mean if I go way back when I was an engineering student we didn't, very, we didn't have very many women in our, in our undergraduate classes. Well my experience in school studying engineering it's, you walk in, it's obviously a large ratio of men. I've had two internships so far, and at each internship, I have noticed that there are far fewer women than there are men. There were multiple times where I was the only female in a room of maybe 20 men. But I definitely was surrounded by guys. A lot of my best friends in college were, were guys, but um, I felt very competitive. Uh, with all the guys I worked with, I was equally as intelligent and equally as hardworking. And I still notice some difference about how women are treated versus men. Um, those differences are disappearing. Employers did have to fill, not quotas, but they were underutilized for women, especially in engineering. So it did help me, but I also earned it, not just, you know, it wasn't just because I was a woman, but it does help. Four um, engineering disciplines that don't attract as many women. Those four are electrical engineering, computer engineering, computer science, and mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering for me it's the largest major that we have for engineering at Michigan State so there's a lot more male and I think it's probably one of the smaller ratios as far as women to men. So being a woman in a field that is already large and very male dominated it's definitely stressful. You kind of have a feeling like you have to prove yourself because um, as an engineer, especially a woman, you're expected to be smart right off the bat. We have efforts to try to raise those numbers. The Society of Women Engineers, then there's a whole women in engineering program here at Michigan State University that um, pays particular attention to needs of women and, and also to underrepresented minorities. There is a, a women's sorority in engineering, a women in computing, which has its own professional um, group that meets uh, frequently and it does a lot of outreach. They have a lot of different programs available to freshmen now. They have um, We Connect, which is through the Women in Engineering program. It's a program that matches uh, freshmen, women in engineering with like a senior buddy, um, so somebody who's in the same field of study of them as them. And I think it's a really awesome resource, especially when you're new here and you kind of feel like you don't fit in yet and you don't really know where you belong. It's nice to have that upperclassmen connection who can kind of point you in the right direction. And we're both in Phi Sigma Rho, which is the social sorority for women in engineering and engineering technology. Michigan State has really provided me with like an opportunity to get involved with women in my field and excel and grow as a female engineer. I said it's very rewarding and self-fulfilling because we have events like WOW That's Engineering where we reach out to middle schools. While that engineering is a one-day event for young girls who are from 4th through 8th grade to come into the MSU Engineering Building 
and learn about all the engineering disciplines. It gets younger girls involved right away. That's one of the things in female engineers is that we don't tend to think about it as a career path. And so with this, it gets younger girls interested in it and it gets them to learn about it at a younger age. That's okay if it's not for them, but we want to expose them to engineering and see how awesome it, math, science, and technology really is. At the end of the day, our main interest is to let them know, you know, this is what engineers are, this is what they do, this is what they have the capabilities of accomplishing, and you can too. I worked at GM for 10 years as an engineer in various supervision roles, and I now work as a teacher at Palm Osway High School. My ultimate goal was to have a family and have children, and I always said that I would go as fast and as far as I could until I got married, until I had children. I think a lot has been made in the movement for women, but I think a lot of women still want to have a family, still want to be mothers, and still want to have flexibility in their jobs. And I think, um, I'm sure there's jobs out there where you can certainly have the flexibility, but the job I was in um, demanded more and more of me and that flexibility wasn't there. We have the stresses as being a mom <laughs> and working um, in this field, but that's anything. I mean, if you're a mom and you, you know, you have responsibilities at home, um, that comes with any career. As a female in engineering, I haven't really experienced too many difficulties. There have been several small instances where I've either been working on a group project where I feel like some of the males in my group have talked down to me and then I've been able to prove myself in other ways that have proven me a very useful part of the team as on the group as a whole to show that you know I'm able to do just as much as you are. So there are very few women. I would say there's probably a quarter of the classes are all women, maybe even less than that. So I mean I don't... It, it, it's definitely, it sticks out when you sit in class and you see all the, the guys around and very few girls, but as far as, I don't let that affect my studying abilities or how well I do in exams or homework. I don't think there I've ever felt a disadvantage of being a woman. Plus, also in our field of engineering, it's very, very equal. It's changing and it's evolving and there are a lot more women now than there were five years and there were ten years but it's going to take a lot of time and a lot more pushing and introducing engineering to females to kind of get the ratio so it's a lot more even. If any young people out there, women who are thinking about being an engineer and are nervous about it being a male dominated field, they really just need to be confident in themselves and to seek out that small percentage that is female because they are very supportive. Women can do anything they put their minds to. Um, you know, the cliche that is women can do anything men can do, but with heels on, it really applies. 